Welcome back to 2230, your go-to channel for thought-provoking insights on news and events shaping our world. Today, we're delving into a story that's taken social media by storm, the topless photo posted by AirAsia CEO Tony Fernandez during a virtual management meeting. But before we dive into this, be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest news and analysis. Also, tell us in the comments what you think about this incident. So, by now, you've probably heard about this image posted by Tony Fernandez on LinkedIn. In the photo, he's seen receiving a massage during a virtual management meeting. Many people were quick to criticize the CEO for his unorthodox choice of Pataiap during a professional setting. But what's the story behind this eyebrow-raising post, and how did people react? While this post is no longer available on LinkedIn, it was widely reposted on social media platforms, and reactions were mixed. Some lost respect for Mr. Fernandez due to his unprofessional conduct, while others questioned why it became such a big deal in the first place. Tony Fernandez explained his actions by saying that he was in pain after an 18 hour flight. An Indonesian colleague suggested he get a massage to relieve the discomfort. He also mentioned that the open culture at AirAsia allowed him to do this during a meeting. So, was this an innocent attempt at stress relief or an unprofessional misstep? Let's take a closer look at this situation. On one hand, it's essential to acknowledge that we're all human, including CEOs. Stress relief methods can vary from person to person, and Fernandez might have genuinely believed this was a way to balance work and well-being. However, on the other hand, as a public figure and the CEO of a major airline, his actions are highly visible and subject to scrutiny. The internet, as we know, can be unforgiving. Now, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think Tony Fernandez crossed the line with this post, or was it a harmless way to cope with stress in a virtual meeting? What's your take on the public's reaction to his actions? Leave your comments down below and engage with fellow viewers in this discussion. That's a wrap on today's analysis of the AirAsia CEO's viral LinkedIn post. Remember to hit the like button if you found this video informative and engaging. Share it with your friends, and, of course, subscribe to 2230 for more in-depth coverage of events like this. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll catch you in the next one.